Now this week, the Portfolio Committee on Basic Education began hearing oral submissions regarding anticipated changes to the South African school laws. Currently being handled by Parliament, the Basic Education Laws Amendment Bill is, these at, is in the stage rather of public comment. To discuss this further, we're joined by National Association of School Governing Bodies General Secretary Matakanya Matakanya. Mr. Matakanya, good afternoon and thank you very much for your time. Bella, as it's called, is now at that public consultation stage. But before we get to the oral submissions, can you just take us through the proposed changes? Thank you very much, Funda, and uh, all your listeners. Uh, the changes that uh, National Association of School Governing Bodies uh, has uh, sent to the Portfolio Committee are as follows. Alcohol, term of office of uh, members of SGBs, uh, homeschooling, remunerations, admissions. Mm -hmm. um, and the, well, the, the, the others, we don't really have a fundamental uh, challenges with. And these are the challenges that we have, particularly on homeschooling. We are opposed to homeschooling, noting the disadvantage for the placing learners in communities of peers. Only in exceptional circumstances should a learner be homeschooled if there is adequate um, contact and engagement with others in a similar age, mm -hmm. then, uh, then uh, we are just opposed to that. We are also opposed to the question of alcohol. Uh, National Association of School Government Board is opposed considerably the context and, and wants to distance itself from uh, uh, promoting the use of alcohol uh, on school prints for the purposes, including fundraising, alcohol as a devastating impact on many communities, especially the poorest of the poor, uh, the working class, uh, the rural, the deep rural. Mm -hmm. So we are opposed to that as well. And uh, remunerations, we feel that now remunerations uh, of, of some schools, particularly in the rich schools, uh, it will mean that now, uh, Teachers, good teachers are going to leave the public schools because they don't have, I mean, we have two types of schools, uh, the quintiles one up to three no fee schools and then quintile four, five uh, fee paying schools. So teachers, they will live in droves to go to those uh, uh, quintile four and quintile five. It means that uh, in uh, the quintile one, three, and then we, we are not going to have a good teacher. So we are opposed to that. We feel uh, uh, then the teachers must be remunerated the same. And then another contentious matter is the term of office of SGBs. Yes. National Association of School Governors noted with concern that uh, elected SGB members must abruptly leave their SGB roles once they have no longer have a child at the school. This creates a leadership vacuum where proper handover is compromised. To solve a problem issue, uh, NSGB seeks advice on retaining the elected members in their role until the handover takes place without compromising the SGB leadership mm -hmm. in schools. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the areas that we feel uh, they must really be considered very seriously. But lastly, uh, the admission. We want to emphasize that now. The language offering schools must be considered the learner population and their home language needs. Particularly that their spirit uh, of language offering had been captured in the Department of Basic Education. Incremental introduction of African languages is a priority program aimed at facilitating so, so, social cohesion since linguistic inclusiveness is uh, exposed in the South African constitution and the national development plan. Then we feel that now, um, if that can be considered, then we shall have a, a better system of education in our country. Mm -hmm. those and those are the few areas that we Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Matakanya, then on financial disclosures, it seems that there'll be greater obligation on the SGB 
to take the school through the finances. Just talk to us about that. What are your views? Well, our views initially was that uh, we are opposed to the financial disclosure uh, in the sense that uh, uh, it is going to scare uh, good parents away because parents, some parents do not really want to, to boast about what they have in public, you know. So uh, we feel that now the good parents are going to be scared away by this disclosure. So we oppose also to the disclosure that uh, it must not be uh, disclosed because uh, then we are going to lose uh, good governors in our schools for the mere fact that now they are going to disclose the amount of money that uh, one has and uh, they will be also even vulnerable because uh, they will be known publicly that these people have got such amount of money, such amount of assets and all those things. We feel uh, uh, we are really opposed to that as well. All right. Mr. Natakanya, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. That was National Association of School Governing Bodies General Secretary Matakanya Matakanya.